Good afternoon. Here we are again. <laughs> and today is such a beautiful day. A day to learn to learn, to relearn, to remember, to come home to the beauty within and the beauty without. Resting with vitality in order to remember who we truly are. Not only do we reinvigorate ourselves as we rest, and we do nourish ourselves. However, on top of all of that, or under all of that, is really coming home to who we truly are. And that is worth its weight in gold. So let's begin to go inside and learn how to not relax so much as to remember, reinvigorate, vitalize the physical body, the life body, and also to turn the light around to the one who's doing all these practices, to the one who can see us striving, falling down and getting up, forgetting and remembering. So either close your eyes for a moment or just have some light in the eyes, but a soft gaze so that you're not focusing very hard on the outside or the inside, just letting rest begin to come into you, letting balance begin to come in, and often a friendly way through is through the breathing as you've been doing, and also through our friend gravity. So gravity allows us to ride along with it and to be friends with it so that we can drop in and drop down. And breathe and listen. Let's listen together a little bit and practice that listening as we drop in and down. We sense the marvelous skeleton, the bony structure, our seated support while we sit with ourselves, with the earth, with our breath. And we move a little bit to find that true seat of support. The more we practice and take care of our true seatedness, the more we easily come to quiet. And through that quiet, through that silence, through that listening, can really begin to arise out of our historic identity, out of the one sitting here, but with the one sitting here. including all our practices of ground and length. Pausing. Just 
sound and space around. The golden ball, the moving center. The warm hand on the feeling center, the chest, the heart. So any one of those practices is a doorway immediately into the potential of being present. Through practice, we can enter more quickly. Through practice, we can simultaneously listen to the breath and the bones and the length and the ground. Over time, they just are friends that come as we call them. And sometimes they call us to be with them. And now include this practice, which we'll take more time with in another video. I hope you're holding on to these videos if you're finding them helpful. Uh, I think they will be very helpful as a, a whole network of lessons that you can deepen into, expound upon, and share. I look forward to them myself each time. And so this other practice is a bit of a combination of practices. It's called sweeping through as a way of just, I think we did before, bringing the temperature down, sweeping the energy through and down through us. And as we have more spaciousness inside, as we have more stability upward and downward in the roots, at some point in time, we might feel tingling in the feet, in the legs. At some point in time, the breathing becomes harmonious. And at some point in time, there's so much more spaciousness in the body that you can begin to practice as the feelings settle down, the thoughts settle down. They don't settle up, <laughs> they settle down. And as they settle down, you can begin this practice of opening up to the great above, to the vast spaces beyond what you know as your room or your body boundaries, when you're truly embodied, weighted in the body, you can travel. I'm not talking levitation here, <laughs> but just simply to be in the world and not of it is one way it's been put for centuries. To expand and move out beyond yourself while you're right here. Larger spaces for yourself. And then there's this potential when you're out here to sense the vast, quiet, eternally present,
presence. This is a neutral zone filled with warmth and clarity. The light has warmth, the light has clarity, it's quiet, it's kind in its warmth. Not kind in sympathy, but kind in its warmth, a selfless interest, a warm-hearted, selfless interest in all things. You can maybe see yourself from above or in front or behind, from the side, and all the things in your room and beyond your room. You know how they take those uh, flights above and take pictures of your home and stuff? It's kind of like that. While you're truly grounded and in this vast day, it's a vitalization of remembrance. You know how to go there. You know how to be there, and it knows you. One of my teachers back in the day was a woman named Charlotte Seldor, and she wrote this marvelous poem about the kind of work we're doing. I'm going to read it to you now while you're approaching that space. Remember always that what we are doing here, if it doesn't change your life, it's worth nothing. If you take this as a kind of oasis, which I think is fine to do, <laughs> to which you come to have a beautiful hour or two in which you kind of begin to breathe and live. And then you go into your life and you act just the same. Don't take the trouble. If it doesn't gradually change your life, it doesn't go deep enough. Charlotte Silver. with a warm-hearted gift of thanks for you practicing together to enter in to all this that's always there, to rest, to be cared for, to be held in these beautiful moments of remembering. The breeze at dawn has secrets to tell you. Don't go back to sleep. Thank you for being here today. <laughs>